Good evening, everyone. So tonight's going to be a little bit different. I've got dual cameras going on. I've got my nice camera down here. That's the Lenovo, the sorry, the Logitech. And then I've got an old HP camera up here. So my mouth might be doing the whole old Japanese movie Godzilla soundtrack. So we have an Xbox 360 that uh, was handed to me, and it's got a little bit of a problem where you hit the eject button and nothing happens. You can hear the mechanics in it. Click, click. Might be able to hear it. So it's trying to kick out there, but we're going to go ahead and take this apart and see what I can't do to get it fixed. Turn the power off. We're going to unplug it real quick. Ugh. Hopefully I can speed loop through some of this stuff for you. All right. First things first, I'm going to detach the hard drive. Oh, you guys can't even see that. All right. So right here, click. Detach the hard drive. That way we're working with like a, a base machine. Stick that off to the side for a second. All right. First things first about these. Ooh, come on, focus. What you can do is just grab one end like this. Rip that off of there. Come on. Usually from the bottom. Set that off to the side. And when you look... There is a tiny pinhole right here. That is the ejector. Oh, hold on. This model doesn't have one. What the? Okay, it's not in there. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go a little bit deeper. Let's go ahead and just start peeling this off here. And if you can't get it, there's some little pinholes that you can grab onto. I've got a set of... Uh, T10, Torque 10, and Torque 13s, which we will be needing. I'm going to use the tiniest one for the moment. And that's not going to work. Hold on. Come here. There we go. I also have a mini screwdriver right there. It's got itty bitty bits on it. It's got about eight bits, all interchangeable. All right, come here, you. Right along this vent, you'll see them. Come on. There it is. There are little clips. Just kind of got to play with it. You'll find them. Once you get one side, the other side just comes off pretty easy. Pop, pop, pop. Come on, come on. Where are you? I can't see you. There it went. <clears throat> those little tabs, they stick right down in those vents. All I gotta do is poke through and find the ones. Uh, looks like this one's been ripped off. That wasn't from tonight. But that's one side. Flip her over. Ooh, okay. Yeah, done. Ha <laughs> ha. Somebody's been inside this box before. So, okay. Now, for the cool part. Back here on... Oh, yeah, somebody's definitely been in here. Back here on the back part, you're going to see these little tabs. Little holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of them on this one. What you got to do is you got to take an itty bitty pin, if you can focus for me. Come on, focus. Well, it's not focusing. And you got to kind of poke them in there and start separating these out. Once you get one side, kind of hold it open. And then start doing the same to the opposite side. One. Just slowly pull them apart. And push in. Two. Oh, it's a bad angle. Hold on. There we go. Two. Three. Oh, no. Nope. Missed that one. Come on. Come on. Push. Pushka, pushka.
One of them's stuck. Come on. There they went. All right, there you can see the tabs on the inside. You just kind of push on those and it'll delatch from everything else. Then you can take and just separate that out. Oh, come on. Being careful of the front. Like that. Oh. All right, right here is a latch. Pop that up. Right here is a latch. Pop that up. Little latch over here off to the side. Like that. And off the top comes. All right. This little bugger right here, just kind of pop off and then remember that before you put the case back together. It's one of my biggest mistakes is I put one of these things all the way back together and went, oh yeah, I forgot about that thing. All right. So up here, um, don't mess with these eight screws right here in the middle. These all hold on to the, uh, the actual CPUs and the fans on the inside, uh, the cooling unit right there. Uh, the cooling heat sink. That's what they're called. Yeah, heat sink. What we're going to need is that. Nope, that one's too big. That one right there. There it is. That one is the T10. So we're going to use the T10 on the inside. If I can find my screwdriver. And just start going around the edges like this. Oh, uh, be sure to be grabbing the flat screws, not the rounded screws. And I'll show you a difference here in just a second. Uh, if you look on this particular model, that is a flattened screw. And that's because it's a different screw than these little side screws. These side screws are holding stuff onto the side, like that right there. Is actually held in by those screws so we're not touching those we're just getting the uh, the case screws there's one it's so weird to watch myself like on the camera I hope my hair looks good you guys are gonna be watching it there's two come around here come right, right there there's Three. Um, doesn't look like there's one up there. Here's four. Come on, come on. There we go. And right there. That is five. Now, I think there was supposed to be six, but I'm not seeing the six flat screw on here at all. So, that's good. We can start to lift. I don't want to lift the whole thing. I'm going to flip the whole thing over and actually lift from this direction. Because that is the case. All right. What do we got? What do we got here? I don't think that's being held down by any screws at all. So you're going to have two little things back here. Oh, no. Yeah, two. You're going to have a SATA latch, and then you're going to have a specialized like power latch. There's one. And two. It's usually easier to take those out after you pull the whole thing. With that out of the way... We can get down into the actual DVD. Alright, on the bottom of this, right here on the sides, one, two, three, four, there's just a regular screwdriver. So, take out my little attachment tool, like that. There's one. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, on. One. And. Two. <laughs> it 
It's like a magic trick. Ta-da! Come on. Three. Do you guys want time lapse of this? I should I should probably offer some time lapse. Three. And four. Four screws. Like that. Take and set those off to the side for a second. Now, let's see. We are going to lift from this end. Just slowly separate it apart because you don't know what's on the inside preventing that from coming apart. There we are. There it is. Okay. So, most likely, we have got a gear out of place. And if I remember right, oh, there we are. Come on, come on. The whole bottom plate's going to come off as well. So now you can get down inside the guts of it. That's that. Uh, I recommend keeping your screws with the case. That way you'll know what part goes to what screws. Set that off to the side. And let's see, gear, 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 gear. Uh, hmm. Usually there is a release switch on DVDs. Xbox looks like this one does not have one. So I'm going to have to monkey with it for a second to figure out how this comes apart. Ah, right there. Do we have to push down or pull up? Push down or pull up? Come on, come on, one way or the other. You got to come out of there somehow. Or maybe you don't, that's cool. I'll leave you in there. Just so I don't break it, let's go ahead and take this front off. Just like that. There's some little latches on the bottom. Right here and right here. Stick that with the case. Now, uh, it still didn't help at all. But she's locked in there tight. Maybe I can see. Hmm. No, we're not bending the case. We're not doing that. Well, how is that thing stuck? Come on now. Is there a slider bar? Ah, aha. Aha, <laughs> did you see that? Little bar right here. Just slide it to the right. That starts to lift up. So I'm just going to slide that right. That should. Yeah, there we go. Push. Comes apart. Well, it doesn't seem to be off tilter or off gear at all. Alright, let's go ahead and pull this the rest of the way off. There's a little little release switch right here. Just pull up on that and you should be able to slide the whole thing right out of there. Just like that. Alright, now that should be able to freewheel. Feels a little loose or a little tight. I'm 
might add some oil to that motor right there. And just looking over the gears. All right, right there. I bet that's our problem. If you look, that has been bent just slightly right here. So instead of being a straight line across, it's it's kind of got a, a curve to it. I don't know if you can see that, so I'm just going to try and smooth that out and push it back into place. Hopefully it's not going to be too damaged. Uh, if it is, I've got another tray that we can replace with. So. Hang tight, one second. So I'm just going to shave off this little part right here. There's a little burr sticking out right there. Okay. I don't know how well the sander is going to work on it, but kind of sand that down a little bit. smoother. Well, it's rough because you're sanding plastic, but it doesn't have that big old bump on it. <sighs> oh, pfft, right in my eyes. Okay, check the rest of the teeth. The teeth look good. No bad damage. Let's go look at the other piece. That's got plenty of lube on it. That's That's good. Right there. All the other pieces look good. Ooh, okay. Somebody has tried to jam something in there to try and pop it open. Take that off. Just little burrs from being pushed by something metal. There we go. Huh. Well, let's throw it back together and see if we can't get her to, to work. Oh, that didn't sound good. Did you hear that? Okay, where'd that little piece go? Come here. There it went. That is not resetting all the way. Ooh, nice. This little bar is supposed to come all the way over. But as you can see, if I push really fast, it'll work. But if I just really go slow, it doesn't push all the way back over. Oh, that, that time it did. Hold on. Try again. Push. Hmm. Are we getting stuck on another edge, or is there an edge that is broken? I'm looking for broken plastic now. 
don't like the way that sounds. Nope. That locked in place. Okay. And that piece is coming all the way up. In the place where the CD-ROM sits. Gonna make sure that comes all the way up. We'll just give it a quick dusting. Oh, well, maybe. Probably should use some compressed air. I don't see a problem with it. One more time, just to check. All the way in, all the way out. Good. All right, let's start throwing it back together. Grab our case first. Four screws, four screws. Bottom goes on first. Make sure that the little notch is on the back and lines up just like that take the top make sure it lines up just like that now the screws were in like this I'm actually going to throw them back in upside down just if I if I ever have to get back into it it'll be easier and the Xbox 360 has got more than enough space on the inside you can you can go either direction with those, so no problem. Yes, I am using a magnetized screwdriver. It's easier. If I were working on the hard drive, then no, I would not use a magnet magnetized hard drive or a magnetized screwdriver. But that's beside the point. So I guess I could have just gotten rid of the uh, second camera. You guys can see pretty good, I think, as long as I keep my hands out of the way. Well, at least you'll know how to take out the DVD drive like the back of my hand. <laughs> Get it? Never mind. Keith, you're a dork. Yeah, I know. I'm a great big dork. <sighs> now, probably would have been a good idea for me to put this back on before sticking that on there. Seeing as it needs a little bit of play. Oh, that worked. Tabs went right back in place. That's good. All right. Bringing up our... Oops. Okay, at this point is when you want to drop your sander. <laughs> I'll pick that up later. All right. Now, here's why I said it's easier to attach and then put in. The way you're going to do that is this is the way it usually, it usually lays in there. Take that whole thing, flip it upside down like that. Take your plugs, and you're just going to plug them in backwards. Gotta stick it down in there a little bit so you can see. Or sorry, you're not going to plug them in backwards. You're going to plug them in upside down. Just like that. Find the hole... There we go. Now, before I go any further, I'm actually going to plug this back in and power it up so I can hit that eject button. Speaking of which, it's going to be right here. Somewhere. Hold on. This sits right there. Okay. That right there is the actual eject button. We're going to plug it in, power it on, and hit eject. Just make sure that this works before I put the whole thing back together. Because I've done that a couple of times in my lifetime. Fix it up and then get to the very end and it doesn't work. Not a fun experience. Alright, here we go. Uh-oh. That did not work. This is going to be a horrible video. Fail, Heath, fail. Alright, let's take it back apart.
and tight. Thank you, Mr. Power. Plug that in, and we'll check the front. Come on, buddy. Do it. No! I don't recommend this. I've still got the power on. Alright. Now do it. Alright. Now come on. Open. Well, what the... What happened there? Alright. Fine. Come here. <laughs> So is it the case? <gasps> Ooh, it could be the case. Why would it be the case? It shouldn't be the case. Is there... What is that? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why is it doing this? Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to give it oh, some pressure. Ah, there you are. All right, I'm going to set this back down in there like that. That thing just barely fits down on there, too. Like, literally, there's nothing to it. Oh, hello! Oh, we're not seated. Hold on. Now we're seated. Alright, try again. Come on. Oh, oh! And we got good connection, I heard it. Try again. <gasps> Yay! Sweet. Where's the bottom? Oh, yeah. I'm going to turn it off. And unplug the power. Come on. Unplug the power. Unplug the power. Come on. There we go. Put that down for a second. I'm not actually going to... Take this all the way back out to put it in. All right, switch back over to a Phillips head. Grab the magnet, like that. We're going to screw that in, just like that. And I am going to leave them a little bit looser this time, just so we're not putting any kind of pressure on the case, because the case seems to have a sweet spot now. By the way, there's a little sticker right here, void warranty if damaged seal. It's a technique that Microsoft uses. Oh, you got into this. Oh, I'm not going to fix it for you now. Really? Now, if you get into it and then there's a piece that's like snapped off, then yeah. I'd be like, well, you got into it and you broke a piece off, but I'll still repair it for you. I'm still going to charge you. But now if you get in there and there's like screws missing and that seal was not broken, yeah, replace that. All right. Case is fully on. Well, loosely on. 
power is back in. And here, I'll just use this. I don't have to use my screwdriver. Touch. Open. Yay. Shut. And open. Yay. So it might have been a bent case. I doubt it was a bent case. All I did was I took the outsides and kind of flexed them a little bit. And then whenever I was putting it in, I had to put a little bit of pressure back into it just so it would fit. As soon as it got down in those two little slots, it pulled that case out again. So hopefully that will fix our DVD-ROM. And if it happens again in the future, I'll have documentation on what to do. Yay, go me. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and power down. Put it all back together. In the event that this happens again, I would probably just go ahead and replace the DVD. But, because I do have a, like, I've got two other boxes I can replace DVDs with. One of them's got a bad lens, the other one's got a bad CPU. So I use parts off of those to repair other things that are not those two things on other people's things. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Uh, what's next? Let's see. Last but never least, the hard drive. Put it in the back first, goes to the front, snaps in place. Make sure it's nice and tight. Looks good. All right. Let's go ahead, Ugh. plug her in, and do our final test. Please work. Yay, we are good. Close. Open. Come on. Woo. Closed. And open. Perfect. So, I hope you've enjoyed this repair tutorial. Um, I know I've had fun at it. We're going to power out. Power off, set that off to the side, and now it's just time to contact the customer and say you're welcome and awesomeness and all the praise and glory. I'm just kidding. I, I do this for friends and family. Um, things get stuck sometimes, and I understand. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you didn't, that's okay. I had fun. Like and subscribe down below. Bye.